What's good, TNT gang? It's your boy Tony B back again with another lit video. Man, I almost got hit by a darn wasp over here. But hey, today we are going to put in some stereo stuff. I know I haven't done that on this channel yet, but that's where your boy started his stuff, man. That's when I started my, my repairs. I, I used to love doing audio stuff in cars, man, and that's where I got my love and my passion for cars. But today we are going to put in some Rockford Fosgate, uh, P1T, five tweeters, and this Sony, what you... What's the name of uh, the XM five four zero zero D the full channel uh, amp that is extremely small man I know y'all been seeing these little bit of amps come out uh, I know uh, Alpine they have one and uh, other companies they got one but uh, Dad he's been complaining about the you know the sound quality in this big boy which is crazy because it has Bose uh, audio in there which y'all know Bose man it's hard to put some. Uh, aftermarket speakers on there but i think i got an idea i think i know what i can do uh i know these have a crossover the tweeters do they have a crossover uh and then i can hopefully piggyback that off of the stock system no nope. so we don't have to do any crazy adapters or anything like that but uh also too i got this plexiglass right here i'm gonna try to make uh a couple um what you call it adapters to you know for myself because the speakers up in the dash they are three and a half, I think, three and a half, and they're gonna, you know, you're gonna have to make a, uh, an adapter for it so it can mount up the the, uh, the tweeters, man. I don't want to cut up anything in the car. I want to make it as, as clean as possible, you know, try to make it look good. But hey, that's enough talking. Let's unbox these new, what you call it? New equipment, new stereo equipment. Let, let's go, man. You know, I y'all know I can't talk anyway. Let's go. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. guys we opened the first box what we got in here some instructions that don't nobody else <laughs> got yet uh then here we go wow. uh, what i liked about these is they came with their own crossover so you don't have to put any kind of uh capacitors in between to try to block the base uh these uh look like they have some nice terminals in there. let's see if we can pull it out they even come with uh, some sticky tape on the back. I thought I was going to have to uh, mount them up. You can, as you can see, the little holes up there. But uh, you got the crossovers right here. Cool. Wow. That's what's up. This is definitely some good quality. Let's check out these tweeters. No, nah, that's the brackets. Looks like you can mount them up flush or... You can mount them up uh, where you can tilt them and uh, angle them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably do them flush. Man, if I can get this out, yeah, here we go. Yeah, wow, feels pretty solid, pretty heavy. You know, I haven't been in the, the audio game in a while, so you know your boy uh, don't know all the features that they have recently. Man, it's been about four years since I got a good audio system, but. Um, they have the spade connectors already on the end. Let's see if they, yup, they already got them on the end right here. Wow, okay, great. Man, that's what's up. All right, now let's go ahead and open up this uh, box with the amp in there. Let's see what we got going on here. God, I already opened this one. You know, your boy, I couldn't wait. <clears throat> couldn't wait, y'all. Oh, these things. This is crazy. All the technology that they have these days. I already opened it up. 
I want to show pops how small these amps are these days, man. And you're getting 45 times four watts, or it's a four channel amp, 45 times four RMS, which is great from, for such a small package, man. And it also comes with you know, uh, RCA cables. I think these go to the speakers, which will be very easy. Uh, and this is the main wiring harness. You know, most of the time when you're doing amps, if you're new to amps, you know, you gotta make sure you put power ground and uh, what is it, the remote wire. And you know, you have to make sure you put your own thickness and, and, and get a kit for it, you know, get your kit for the exact wattage of your amp. What? But this thing, it comes with it. It comes with your, uh, the exact wires that you need. And all you do is just plug it in. Make sure, I guess you tap this into the stereo that's inside and they say voila, that's all it takes. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can mock up the tweeters. Uh, I'm gonna open this up, try to see what I'm gonna, you know, try to do and uh, how we're gonna do this. But uh, let's go ahead and hop in the truck and pull out the front tweeters. All right, guys, as you can see, it took a little finagling, but it's real easy to get this out. I'm glad that you don't have to take this whole dashboard out. The top part of, I was like, wow, Nissan, you better not do that to your boy. But all you gotta do is get a small screwdriver and pry this up. And what it looks like, he has a tab on each end. Uh, well, it's two on this end, and then there's one on that end. Hopefully you guys can see that. But uh, pretty much what that does, it gives you access. <laughs> You can't see. Gives you access to the speaker right there. And what the? What? I keep missing a screw. And this is a 2017. Come on, Nissan. Do y'all see that? Look like it's missing a screw up there. Oh my goodness. Quality control. Quality control. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, I, oh, come on now, dog. I guess because the windshield is so close to the speaker, as y'all can see, they might have just thought about, you know, just leaving it out. But I don't know. But we're going to get it out. Less bolt for me. But hey, this looks like it's going to be pretty easy so far. All right, let's go. Hey, what y'all still doing over here? Let me show y'all something. <clears throat> As y'all saw, I was able to get the grill out with this uh, flat head. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, when you're doing any kind of work on the car, make sure you have an, uh, a bin where you can put all your screws and everything in there. Uh, what I used is one of these uh, little uh, Phillip head drivers and I put it in the end of my uh, small uh, ratcheting uh, my ratchet then uh, the one that's closest to the window I used an eight millimeter eight millimeter uh, wrench because you know we really don't have that much space up there because it's so close to the window but uh, once you do that you just pull it out and it's a push clip you just push the clip down and you pull the speaker out very simple man Hey, as y'all know, I'm not a how-to channel. You know what I'm saying? All we do is try to do the best we can, and I bring y'all along with me. Y'all laugh if we if we lose, and y'all celebrate with me if we win, y'all. But uh, that's the eat man. That's pretty easy, man. Only thing is, it's kind of tight up there at the top. But now, what we're gonna do? We're gonna get this, and we're gonna make a bracket uh, with our plexiglass so that we can have somewhere to mount our tweeter. Let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, 
I was gonna make a mistake, y'all, as I was trying to cut this thing with this butter knife I got from uh, Home Depot. I forgot. I need to go ahead and mount my tweeter on here so I can um, make sure I cut that hole out first so I can have more surface to hold on to. Ooh, 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 it would have been hard. And plus, I'm not used to using this stupid knife. I'm used to using a Dremel, but I broke that thing on my way up here. So I'm gonna try to you know, see what I can do. I might can use my handsaw. I might can do that. But uh, yeah, we gonna be resourceful, man. That's what we do on this channel. We make it happen. Don't make excuses, we make it happen. So look, let me go ahead and make this uh, circle on here so I can make sure I cut that out first instead of cutting out the bracket itself. And then we can get to install it into the truck. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Two hours later. Woo, I ain't gonna tell no lie, y'all. Without that Dremel, it's hard, boy. Cause uh, what I do with the Dremel, I can get it very, very precise compared to this uh, this hand saw, I guess that's what you call it. But then I went on and uh, I kind of uh, dressed it up a little bit. It doesn't look like SpongeBob. It looked more like Doodle Bob. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know who Doodle Bob is from SpongeBob, right? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much the gist of it. All I had to do, I had to trace it out. Uh, make sure that this can fit inside that uh, cylinder. Make sure you cut out the, the cylinder the center first so you can have more leverage to cut the hole out. And that's pretty much it, y'all. Man, I didn't want to show y'all the way I did it because, yeah, it was, it was kind of backyard type of stuff. Because, like I said, man, just, just spend the money, get the Dremel, make sure you get the cylinder tool that you can uh, sand the edges down and make it look good, even though ain't nobody going to see it. You know me, I always like to make sure it looks decent. You know what I'm saying? I don't I do not do it 100% um, to perfection because, number one, you know, your boy, I'm cheap, man. If I would have just went on and just spent the money and got my Dremel, I got the package over here, as you can see, but you look, there's no Dremel in there. Yeah, bro, man. But uh, I'm, I'm happy with it. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty solid. I was uh, able to install it over there in the dash. Uh, I can show you what it looked like uh, when I installed it in the dash. Let me go ahead and uh, mock up the tweeter so, you know, I can make sure that it, that it can fit in there. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's definitely going to fit because look how, look at the depth of this uh, this speaker right here compared to the tweeter. Where did I put the tweeter at? Did I put it back in the box? Yeah, I did. Yeah, look look at the difference. Yeah, we ain't, we're not going to have any problems. No problem at all. Let's go ahead and and uh, and mock this up. me because i've been here oh! as y'all saw let me get in some better light man as y'all can see we got the tweeter in looking factory man and i promise you How did I my phone, my Lego. this man talking about a lego and we over here trying to put together some legos as you can see man i got this speaker up here Lego. and it's hush golly as y'all can see, we got it up there looking stock. We have not installed it yet. And this is where I'm gonna tell you guys, this is gonna be a multi-part install. I don't wanna have my videos too long. I wanna make sure I get the information that I need to out there to you guys that are first time doing this thing. So next video, we will be doing the crossover and the wiring. And then probably the next video, we'll do the amp and all that kind of stuff. Then we'll do the sound test. Even though on YouTube and on videos, you can't really do too much sound test because it's, you're not gonna be able to hear what kind of sound is in the difference or whatever. You just gotta take my word for it. But I hope you guys ain't mad. This is gonna probably be a two or three part video uh, because you know it's gonna take a lot of uh, fabrication. It's not just a direct bolt on like you know most other things that we do. And plus, I don't wanna keep this video too long. So yeah, I'm gonna make it a, a couple part series. So. 
I hope y'all ain't too mad. But if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Hey, because we do a lot of different things, man. We work on old schools. We work on new schools. You know what I'm saying? We do everything on this channel. Ah. If it has something to do with cars and it's lit, we finna do it, cuz. So hit that subscribe button. Don't, don't miss out, man, because, hey, I'm telling you, man, TNT Garage is where it's at. Hey, and don't forget, we got a candy paint giveaway, man. I'm at around, uh, I'm above 200 right now, so if y'all share the video, get it circulated, man. Somebody gonna win that candy paint giveaway. I'm gonna put the link to the video down in the description. All you gotta do is go subscribe to me and my homeboy channel, uh, Southern Chevy TV. Make sure you hit candy paint, candy paint car kit, candy paint giveaway, candy, it's something like that. It's gonna be down in the description, y'all. Yeah. Make sure you enter for that candy paint giveaway, man. Cause I want to see yep. what y'all put it on, man. Cause uh, you know, I'm not doing candy paint, but I want to see y'all put it on y'all project. All right, guys. I appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all have a blessed day. Like, Peace. Like, comment, and subscribe. What'd you say? Like, comment, and subscribe, and share it. Oh man! After that, I just did. After that, I just did all the hard work. Todd come out here, be running his mouth. Lord have mercy. That ain't that how they do? <laughs> All right, guys, peace. You want my advice? Don't play yourself. And subscribe, fool.